Hey there everybody, Shambra Customs back with another custom minifigure review. Today's my custom reduced Lego Aqualish Social Elite. Like all my head pieces, this one is originally sculpted first off by me and Clay. It is then cast into a silicone rubber mold which is then filled with a coloured plastic to produce the actual head piece you see in front of you. Now if you guys would like to check out how to do it for yourselves, check out my update channel which is linked to down below in the description to check out the tutorial on how to cast head pieces like this. But anyway, let's talk about this figure itself. Now, this isn't a specific character. Yes, I have used the uh, the mold for the headpiece before to make a character, and that was Po Nudo, which is, of course, the Aqualish Senator. However, this one here is in a completely different color and doesn't correspond to any existing character in the Star Wars universe. Uh, I have not done a review of my Po Nudo figure headpiece yet. Uh, that still has to come, but the coloration for that is more of a gray to a brown color, whereas this one's more of a maroon red. Now, I decided to make this one a social elite, which means that, you know, he's sort of going around Coruscant, rubbing shoulders with the right people, you know, maybe he's a diplomat or something like that, uh, hence the little wine glass in his hand, he's, you know, maybe at a dinner party or something, sort of a strange little idea, but uh, definitely a good background character for some uh, mock scenes. Uh, but let's begin with the body first, it's just a stock standard amalgamation of Lego pieces, if you guys didn't know, I'm a bit of a Lego purist, so I do not customise actual Lego pieces, I just make my own pieces. Uh, but let's begin at the bottom and work our way up. We can see that he's got the, uh, I suppose you'd call them leg pieces, as you can see from the side, there's that sloping piece uh, from the new Gunray figure. Uh, he's also got a little black, uh, I suppose you'd call it, uh, Karma sort of thing going on there, and that is from the Elite Clone Trooper, uh, from the Elite Clone Trooper Battle Pack. And his chest piece there is a little bit decorative, and that is from the Lando Calrissian figure from the original Jabba's Sail Barge. If we go inside, we can see he's got a custom cape there uh, that goes through the arms, uh, the armholes. I'm not exactly sure who made that custom cape. I've had it for a few years, but it definitely works well for these sort of custom figures. And as you can see, it's the same on the other side there. And as we can see in the back, we've also given him a tan-colored cape, which is the one from the Magna Guard, from the Magna Guard Starfighter set back in, I think, 2008. And as we can see in his hand, we've got a little wine glass there. Again, a nice little background feature. Now if we go to the coup de grace, which is of course the headpiece, uh, we can see that he has four eyes, which um, is a variant of the Aqualish species. They can have either two eyes or four eyes, as you can see from these pictures here. And as you can see, I've given them the two tusks there as well. And on that side there, you can see there's a grey uh, sort of coloration there. And the camera's not really picking it up, but it's also on the other side there. That is actually uh, a hair design that I sculpted on. It doesn't really show up that well on this camera but uh, it's definitely a textured pattern there, that little grey bit to signify hair. But uh, yeah, that's all I've really got to talk about for this one, guys. Pretty short little review here. I'll give you one more look at it, one more look around at the figure. So yeah, this is probably one of those uh, sort of designs, this headpiece that I'll do a different uh, variation for a number of times. It's, you know, from an alien species that all look essentially the same. So much like what I do with my cell cap here pieces, I'll probably cast this one in a number of different colors for a number of different situations, uh, much like this one, just making little characters up in my head. And uh, yeah, I think it makes things a little bit more interesting to sort of get a bit creative with some different colors and make your own sort of characters up. But anyway, that's all for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed looking at my custom uh, cast headpiece for my Aqualish Social Elite. Uh, it was definitely a nice one to make, although it was originally for a different character, uh, it does translate well across to different ones as well. But if you guys would like to go check out uh, how I make these headpieces and also uh, various periodical updates on what I'm doing, check out my update channel, which is linked to down below in the description. If you'd like to purchase any of these headpieces for yourself, check out my eBay page, which is linked to down below in the description. There's nothing up on there right now because I've had a little bit of materials problems. Uh, with delivery times, but that sh soon should be sorted out, so there should be stuff up there in about two weeks, if you want to go back and check it out then. Uh, and also, go check out my blog, link to down below in the description, for some good little techniques on how to make these hair pieces yourselves. That's all for this one, guys. If you've got a question, chuck it down in the comment section. If you haven't already, please subscribe.